I'm grateful for my extended family, which is my military family. Um, everyone seems to, I'm not sure people think about them uh, during this time, but I do. Uh, you know, when I was deployed and away from my family, um, you know, I thought about my family and I had people take care of me, like, uh, you know, I try to do for, for other service members that aren't, can't get back home and things of that nature. So I'm thankful for my service members for helping to uh, protect us, serving our country. Thankful for my family, my personal family, um, for uh, supporting me uh, through all my endeavors that I do and for all the time and effort I do with my nonprofits and things of that nature. Uh, I love them to death. And uh, I'm just thankful that I am healthy and have enough mobile ability and mental ability to be able to uh, be able to support the, the community that's around me. So I always wanted to give back when I retired and that's what I'm doing. So I'm thankful for that. Obviously family, um, health, my fairy friends, my dog and my cat. <laughs> and um, I'm thankful for the beautiful season for fall. This is my favorite season. So I'm thankful that I can share the warmth of fall season with everybody. It's mostly I am so grateful for my neighbors. Uh, I lost my husband about 13 years ago and they have filled the void and kept me going. And so it's my neighbors and all the people that I've met here. The more people you know, the more support you have. I'm grateful as a docent and I know that many of our members here uh, and those in leadership are grateful for other residents to donate some of their personal items here to the museum. I'm thankful. Uh, for the community and everybody, every volunteer in this museum that worked together to make this beautiful project happen. I am thankful for, uh, to the Orangeville History Museum for the friends that I've made, the education that I've got about Orangeville, and all the things that I didn't know that I sh probably should have known long ago. Oh my gosh, people came and brought their paintbrushes and their buckets and people donated paint and flooring. And the plumber came and brought us a new, new throne in the bathroom. And along we got a new kitchen and we got new floors in the archive. And I am thankful for the community that helped this happen. In fact, I'm grateful. Thank you.